Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing very well. I am going to do a, another little cooking video, nothing special, but I'm gonna be making meatloaf. But I am making vegetarian meatloaf. Please use whatever you like to make yours. You know, I am once again using the Impossible Beef. So that is what I will be using. I'm also gonna be using an onion which we will cut at least one egg. I am not sure because um, it's not that much meat really in there. So it's gonna be at least one egg. I have a bowl to mix it in. I have a pan that I will be putting it in because I will be putting it in my toaster oven. So I'm using a smaller pan. Um, I need to get some smaller ones that'll fit in there. I just haven't gotten that yet. So, need to do that. I have a little Pam, which I call a Pam. This is the Walmart brand to spray it. Let's see, can you guys see that? Spray it up just a little bit because I don't know how this vegetarian meat will exactly work. Sorry about that, I dropped the lid. But I don't know how the vegetarian meat will work. So, you know, we might have to have the Pam so it doesn't stick, I'm not sure. Salt and pepper which I'll be adding in some garlic powder. And I think that's just about it. Oh, and bread, which I already took out three slices because I keep it in my freezer. It is the Sola bread, S-O-L-A. So I don't know how many of those I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna, I have three out. In case I'm gonna turn you around, we're gonna mix all this together, cut up the onion and the bread to put in there, and I'll do the bread little by little. So I'm gonna turn you around, we're gonna do the process together, get it into the toaster oven, and then we're gonna try it together at the end. I've never made vegetarian meatloaf with this. I always use the Loma Linda, which I love so much, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna try this. For a change, it's something easy for everybody to get. The Loma Linda is very hard, at least in my area. So let me turn you around and we will get you going. Okay, I'm kind of in even more of an awkward position because the sun is shining, which I love. <laughs> but uh, it's shining to where you see the lines of the blind. So I had to move you over here. So let's hope this will work out. I think we'll just start right ahead with the meat. Oop. We'll start with the meat. It has a little tab here. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of difficult. My door is open, so you're gonna hear a lot of outside noise, guys. This is not an ASMR video, so let me just try to get this started here. You ready? It's kind of hard to do. They make it a little difficult, which is good. That means it's packed well. <laughs> let me see. Oh, come on. Boy, it's really tough to open. <laughs> I'm sure it looks like it is, it sure is. I don't know if I'll be using my hands or a spoon, i sure. I think most people use their hands when they do, when they do their meatloaf, I don't know. So I'm putting the meat in here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Now it does have, you really need to cook it like meat, you know? So you need to follow kind of instructions like you would with meat. So there it is, it's in here. That's what it looks like. I'm just gonna let that sit there for a minute, put it aside, because I have my onion here, and I have my bread, but here's my onion, which I am going to, um, I'm gonna use a, you know me, I like to use a paper towel. I have my little cutting board here. And so I like to use a little cutting board when I cut the onion, cause it kind of, to me, it makes things smell like onion and I don't want that. So, but I'm going to trim it first here just to get some of the pieces off, you know, the end pieces off. This is what I do. I don't know how you guys do it, but I just trim it. Cause then I'll put it in a plastic bag. That's Nikki is in the room. I'll put it in a plastic bag and then that way the smell, can you smell it? Yeah, ooh, that, that smells pretty. Hmm, that smells super strong. I've had it in my refrigerator for a little while because I, let me try this, hold on. I gotta try a piece of it because if it's too strong, I don't wanna put it in my, let me taste it. Okay, no. 
Okay. No, it's not too strong. It smells really strong, but it's not too strong. So I think maybe about that. I'm not sure. If I feel like I need more, then I'll get more. But right now we'll just deal with what we got. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna take I'm taking these two outer rings off because they're really green looking. Normally I don't if they're not too green looking, but they look a little too green to me. So I'm gonna just cut these hopefully small, you know, because I want them to cook. Usually I would even saute them. I'm trying to decide if I want to saute these up or not. Normally you don't in meatloaf. You'd, you know, you just put them in there, but I don't know how this meat cooks, but we're just gonna go with the flow. And hopefully, I mean, I like raw onions. I don't know if I like them in my meatloaf, but probably I'm gonna cut them up. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to shut my door here soon. It's actually starting to get too warm. I just kind of wanted to have it open for a little bit, let that fresh air in. It's very breezy out. You could hear my wind chimes going and stuff, but yeah. So here we go. Here's the onion. I'll give you a little close-up look at it. I just cook it. I just cut it on there because I think that it takes some of the smell away. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. And it doesn't get all completely over my cutting board, you know, completely into the cutting board. I'm thinking that's probably enough. What do you guys think? What do you think? Do you think that's enough onion? I don't know. So, let me move my cutting board over here to wash it. I'm almost thinking that's enough. I don't know. I like lots of onion myself. I don't know if you do. I enjoy lots of onion. And I just had the paper towel sitting on, I mean, I just had the bread sitting on the paper towel. Now I'm not a person that says I don't like crust, but on the solar bread, it's a little tougher than regular bread. So I do take that top piece off. You do not have to obviously on your bread. And I don't know if I'm gonna use all three. If I don't, I'll just use one for a piece of toast. But what I would do is would just kind of, you could, I, normally you tear it, I'm gonna see if it cuts. I don't think it cuts well. So I'm just gonna tear it in there. I'm probably not gonna tear it all in front of you, but just tear it into little pieces and put it in there. I don't know how much I'm gonna use. So I'll probably just start with like um, one or two pieces and then go from there and see, and then add at least one egg. Cause like I said, this is not gonna be a big meatloaf, obviously it's just one of those. And I'm gonna throw seasonings on it too, which I'll do with you. The only thing I know like this bread kinda, I use it in my other meatloaf though, and it turns out fine. So I'm gonna do two of these and I'm gonna be back with you. And then I'm gonna season and we'll go from there, okay? I don't think you wanna sit here and watch me do this bread like this. So this is what it looks like so far. I'll come back in just a minute. Okay guys, there it is with two pieces of bread. And I just took that little crust part off. So I am going to add some salt and pepper and garlic sauce and an egg. And then I am going to mix, wash my hands again and mix it. So add some pepper into there, whatever your tasting is. Add some salt, add some garlic. I might add a touch of barbecue sauce, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about adding a touch of barbecue sauce. I don't know if you ever did that before. I have some eggs here. I'm just gonna pull one out at the moment. Crack it into there. Then I'm gonna wash my hands real quick and I'm gonna mix this up. I might add a touch of barbecue. Let me get my hands washed. Now, a lot of you may ask, well, Christine, why didn't you add any Italian seasonings and stuff? I don't like Italian seasonings in mine, to be honest with you. That's just me. I'm gonna add a touch of barbecue. I don't know, can't hurt. I don't think. It is the sweet raise. This is my favorite barbecue sauce. So we are going to mix this up. I washed my hands. We're gonna mix it up. <laughs> Goes <It was> yucky. <laughs> and see if we need any more uh, wet or 
dry products in there probably add a little more seasoning so it is pretty cold because i had the meat was in the freezer and then i defrosted it in my refrigerator so it's still pretty cold but let me give you a little close up here here's kind of what it's looking like it seems pretty wet definitely don't need to add any more wet stuff to it that's for sure I don't know if it's too wet that I need to add a little bit more bread because it seems pretty wet. So what I'm going to do, it's okay because I'm going to mix it in there anyways. So I'm just going to add this little bit of piece of bread that I had. A little piece left over. I'm going to add it into there. I'm trying to break it up. It's not breaking up that nicely. And as you know, I already put spray in my aluminum pan over here. So one egg was plenty. I think I'm gonna add a little more seasoning once I get this mixed up a little bit more. It was a little pretty wet, you know. So let me just move that to the side for a minute. I am in a really awkward place, guys, I'm sorry. But here's kind of what it's looking like. I'm gonna, sp I'm gonna spread it out here for just a minute spread it out like this just for a minute because use my other hand that's why i did put my other hand in there pepper <laughs> a little bit more salt very little salt though and then garlic powder gonna add a little bit more not too much more just to make sure it has a little bit more flavoring i have that little bit of barbecue sauce in there should add a little touch of flavoring what do you like on your meatloaf i love meatloaf sandwiches I'm not going to be making a meatloaf sandwich with this. And as a matter of fact, I may have to try it right out of this pan because it's going to be hot when it comes out and it will fall apart. Just like any other kind of product, you have to let it sit for a while. And I want to try it right when it's steaming hot with you guys. So here's what it looks like. That is my meatloaf mix. You put whatever you want into it. Some people buy mixes and put it in there. I don't do that. I never have. Um not big on a bunch of seasonings not saying it's not good i'm sure meatloaf seasoning's good maybe i'll try it one time with you guys too here is my pan that i'm going to dump it in as you see i put the pan in there already we're going to dump this in here now a lot of people put bacon and all kinds of stuff in their meatloaf and i don't even need this big of a pan you see how small it is so i'm gonna kind of just form it in there it's not going to be pretty it's not going to it's not going to win a beauty contest, put it that way. So here's all the goodness out of here. Put that in the sink. So this definitely by far is not going to make it in any beauty contest and that's fine. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to cook it for a little bit and then I'm going to add some kind of either probably a little bit of barbecue sauce over top of it for flavor and to make it not burn. I'm going to put it in my toaster oven. I'm going to show you that here in a second. So give me just a minute. Okay, guys. so I'm at the toaster oven. I put a little block a, a cutting board underneath mine because I was worried the heat would ruin, you know, do some kind of problems. But here is the meatloaf that I'm getting ready to put in. I'll have to let you know at the end how long I cooked it for and stuff like that because I don't know. I am going to set this, I think I'm going to leave it at 350. I'm going to start out at 20 minutes and go from there and I'll definitely let you know. So it's in the oven, it's ready to go. I might show you in between or make sure you're here because we are going to taste this meatloaf when it's done. I am gonna try to put a little sauce on it in between cooking, but I think it's gonna take more than 20 minutes anyway, so we're just gonna let it go for now and keep an eye on it. If I forget to put how long I cooked it for, you could ask me in the comment section, and hopefully I'll remember then. <laughs> but it is at 350. Okay guys, so 20 minutes went off. I decided to come back on and give you a little sneak peek at it. Here's what it's, oh, it's actually looking really, really good. It smells really good too. That's what it's looking like at 20 minutes. Mm, that smells good. I am, as you see, it's getting a little dark on top. So I am gonna add a little bit of barbecue sauce. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do it right here. I don't know, can you guys see that? Okay. I can't see what's going on. I'm gonna try to do it right here. If not, I'll have to move it. I'm just gonna, um, I was going to pour it on top, but you know what I think I might do, it sounds kind of weird, is put it right on top of here. Like, just put some here, and then try to slather it on top. Let's see if that works out. 
Let me see if I could turn this towards you a little bit. So you could kind of see, I'm just gonna to try to slather a little bit. That's not really working out that good. That wasn't that great of an ideal. But just to kind of, you know, get it to where hopefully it doesn't burn. It has, and I like this barbecue sauce, so I hope it tastes good. I never in my life added barbecue. Well, on my vegetarian with my Loma Linda I have, but I never did it like this before. So I don't know what it's gonna taste, but taste like, but let me hold it here. I got that thing underneath. I'm just trying to add just a little bit of barbecue sauce so it, so it doesn't burn so much. You don't have to, I don't think. I think it's gonna be okay. It's looking really yummy if you ask me. What do you think? I'm gonna put it in for longer. I'm gonna set it for another 10 minutes and see how it goes. When it is done, I will definitely, definitely try it with you, but I want it to cook longer. But I was just worried that maybe it'll get a little burnt, you know? So, I had a touch more onto here. I'm trying to get those little actually not as hot as you would think it would be but it's hot I mean you don't want to grab the pan pan too much but it's not coming through too bad but I just added a little bit more just to try to make sure I slathered all across the top because I don't want it to get burnt so there's what it looks like I'm going to slide it back in here I have it at 350 still I'm going to do it I'm actually doing another 15 minutes so the next time I see you is when it will be done so by the time this is done, that would be 35 minutes. And if I do it longer, I'll let you know. But I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, wow. This has been the 15 minutes. So, so far, all I cooked it for was for 35 minutes. It's not really such a big meatloaf. So, I don't think I have to cook it much longer. I just wanted to give you a close-up of it. It's still bubbly and yummy looking. You can see the what I was talking about earlier. That's the light from the blinds. And part of my blinds is broke. I'm trying to get my wooden spoon out because I want to dish a little bit out and I am going to be using a paper plate just so you know. I'm not even going to try to use a knife because this just came out as you can see just came out of the oven so it is so yummy so good it's very hot I'm actually this tip isn't too bad to hold but when you hold it underneath there it is I want to see there you go you can see a little better I'm holding the camera so I'm going to see if I can cut it Hold on guys. Okay, sorry about that. So I am holding the phone to have it kind of come there a little bit. It actually is coming out in a piece as you see. So we're gonna take a piece out or at least try to because I'm holding the phone. So it's not gonna be pretty guys, sorry. It's coming. <laughs> Hold on guys. Okay, so that's not working too good. I'm gonna use my fingers here. They are clean. Gonna put it on my plate. That's what it looked like on, oh my gosh, it looks so good and yummy. Look at that. So I'm gonna give you a little close up of where I cut it out at. You can't really see it, I know. This pan is hot, but not too bad. But that's what it looks like. It looks delicious, but here you go. You can see the onions in there. I did a little barbecue sauce on top. Let me turn the camera around and I'm gonna try it with you. Okay, guys, so here I am. I'm so excited. What I also want to say is if you come up with any ideals you'd like me to try, I may try them. I don't guarantee I will, but just let me know down in the comment section if you'd like to see me make something. I have several of these videos up there. Check my playlist. Yummy, yummy food recipes for you. I'm thinking about doing a Frito pie or something like that one day with this stuff. But oh my gosh, does that not look delicious? Let me turn it over. Even just like a right, there's a crusty part, everything. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited to try this. Here's a piece on the spoon. Look at that. Yummy, yummy goodness. Are you ready for me to try this? I'm so excited. It tastes really good. Now, what I'd like to say is the inside is very soft, like meatloaf normally is. It probably hasn't formed yet neither because I just there's Nikki have it. I just pulled it out of the toaster oven. The outside is crispy. It honestly tastes like meatloaf. It is really good. So you haven't, if you haven't tried this and you haven't had a meatloaf in a long time, 
You can use the impossible meat. It actually turned out good. You could add whatever kind of seasonings you want. Also, you could do whatever kind of meat you want. So you don't have to do it vegetarian. You could do it whatever way you want to. This turned out honestly delicious. Just look at it. Look at this. Sorry, Nikki just went outside and now the dogs are upset. And now there's somebody yelling at them. <laughs> but look at how delicious. Sorry about that, guys. To have another bite with you. So you can make regular meatloaf. This is really good. I like it. I will be making it again for myself. It'll last me a few meals. Really good. Sorry, guys. Those dogs just never stop. They never stop. And check out my videos because I do have one. If you like Loma Linda products, it is a vegetarian meatloaf also that is really good. But like I said, you don't have to do vegetarian. Do what you like. Enjoy it. I'm going to give you one more close look at it. It's still pretty hot. It's the bottom that's really hot. It's like I could touch these little edges here, but the bottom's really hot. But here's another look at it. It's so delicious. So yummy. Look. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. So yummy. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day or wonderful, wonderful evening, depending on where you are. I thank you so much. And I love you so much. And I'll definitely talk to you later. Bye-bye.